What's going on everybody? I'm Jiffy Nano and today we're talking about Moe's in Borderlands 3. Theory crafting in these games is one of my favorite things to do and some of the other bigger YouTubers that cover Borderlands have already talked about Moe's and what skills they think are the strongest so I'm pretty late to this party. But I did notice a handful of skills that everyone seemed to overlook so today we're going to go over some of the skills that I think are going to be extremely strong in the right situations. I want to start out by saying that with Moe's being Borderlands 3's soldier class, it's really nice to see skills that actually seem really good. Roland in Borderlands 1 wasn't bad, but Axton from Borderlands 2 was fairly underwhelming compared to the other characters, and admittedly I don't know much about Wilhelm from the pre-sequel, as I only played Claptrap. But so far all the soldier classes have been pretty basic as far as skills go and not have been very strong in the past. So it's really nice to see that Moe's might be a contender for one of the strongest Vault Hunters in Borderlands 3. Some of the skills others have brought up I do agree are incredibly strong, like Behind the Iron Curtain, which increases shield recharge rate by 21% reduces shield recharge delay by 24% at 3 points. A class mod that would increase that by 5 points would bring it up to 56% recharge rate and a 64% recharge delay reduction. And that's all before any artifact bonuses, flat increases from things like class mods, and other gear that could lead to some incredible shield recharge and delay. This could be extremely powerful with some of the crazy shields that Gearbox has talked about, but more specifically amp shields. With enough shield recharge delay reduction and rate increase you could possibly achieve something similar to Borderlands 2's buck up glitch. Which for those who don't know, in Borderlands 2, Gage the Necromancer has a skill called Buck Up. This is an augment for Death Trap that lets him hit you or allies with a beam that restores your shields. The glitch is, is if he hits you with a beam and you use an area transition at the same time, you keep the shield regeneration. And this can stack multiple times. This is a popular speedrunning trick used to increase your damage output by using amp shields. And it makes you really hard to kill with all that shield regeneration. This glitch is still present in Borderlands 2 and it's super easy so give it a shot yourself. Just unequip your shield altogether and because Death Trap has the AI of a potato he'll try and restore your shields anyway. Then all you have to do while the beam is hitting you is go through area transition and the glitch should be working. The reason this glitch is so popular is because you get the damage bonus of the amp shield but you never have to worry about the chunk of shield that gets used up because it comes back almost instantly. If Moe's can get her shield recharge delay and rate high enough you could probably replicate this at least partially. Another skill that would do something similar to this is force feedback which makes it so every time she gets a critical kill her shields begin to recharge. So in theory an amp shield with behind the iron curtain and forced feedback would make clearing trash mobs extremely easy. Another skill that seems really underrated at the moment is Torg Cross Promotion, which at 5 points gives all splash damage dealt by Moe's a 15% chance to double in size. Now we don't know if this is going to increase the damage too, but even if it's just the size of the explosion, it's still going to be really good for shredding through crowds of smaller enemies, or possibly hitting multiple weak spots on bosses. Pair this up with a Torg Shotgun and man, just look at this clip. These Malawan heavy troops are giving everyone at the Borderlands 3 reveal event a real hard time and this shotgun just absolutely obliterates them. Now imagine that twice the size. Also, thanks so much Professor Broman for permission to use this clip. If you don't know who Professor Broman is, he's a super awesome content creator on Twitch and YouTube and he's one of my biggest inspirations. He does a lot of Destiny and Borderlands coverage so go check him out, link to his YouTube and Twitch channels are in the description. Moses' Demolition Woman Tree has so much stuff that complements explosive weapons. Means of Destruction, that gives you 10% chance to refund ammo when you deal splash damage. Her Capstone Short Fuse, which gives her a 20% chance to cause a secondary explosion when shooting things that deals 75% extra damage. 75 extra damage on top of the insane damage of a Torg shotgun already? It's gonna rip through bosses. It's gonna be ridiculous. Some skills could be even better than what they seem on paper, like Vampyr, which gives Moses' grenades lifesteal. Depending on how damage is calculated in Borderlands 3, this could give certain guns lifesteal as well. In Borderlands 2, guns like the Unkempt Herald, the Ogre, the Twister, the Blockhead all benefited from grenade damage skills. In fact, most Torg weapons did. So if grenade damage is calculated like that, then you could have life steal all the time. There's some skills like Drowning in Brass that doesn't just benefit Moe's but the rest of the players too, giving up to 140% gun damage at 7 stacks for both you and your allies. The best part of all of this though, is that there's so much diversity in these trees. I could go a full gun build and barely use the Iron Bear mech, or I could go full on mech build and spend as much time in my mech as possible. And this is just skill trees and talents, we haven't seen top tier gear yet, we haven't seen legendary shields, class mods, only legendary guns. So the possibilities here are endless, and I'm super excited for this game. This game is my most anticipated game of the year and I'm going to be playing it a ridiculous amount when it first comes out. Man, this went from me discussing how I think Moses is going to be a contender for the strongest Vault Hunter to me just geeking out over the game. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video and thought it was interesting, hit that like button and let me know in the comments if you want me to make more. Also, consider subscribing if you want to keep seeing videos like this and my Borderlands 2 guides. I'll be doing a lot of stuff when Borderlands 3 finally comes out. And check out my Twitch channel where I stream things like Borderlands, Rainbow Six Siege, Overwatch, Destiny 2, and other stuff. I also do game giveaways over there as well. The link is in the description. I hope to see you in chat. Also, don't forget to check out Professor Broman, who is nice enough to let me use this clip. He's a super cool dude. Go check him out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.
this pistol rips through ammo. Put your head down so I can get your hat.